All right, today's topic, lifting your 40 Econoline van. What are the options out there and what does it cost? My van's two wheel drive and lifted about five inches. This is the tallest lift you could get for a two wheel drive van. When you lift your van five inches, you could fit 285 tires, 33 inch tires right there. Some people fit 35s on two wheel drive lifted vans but it's going to require a little trimming but this is the typical tire size for a five inch lift the lift on my van is achieved with a bent i-beam kit it's funny because it says do not bend on the i-beam the other lift option is a drop down bracket so the guy that sells the drop down bracket says do not bend the i-beams and the guys who bend I-beams say drop down brackets are not good. My buddy Holdfast, he has a Camberg lift on his van. So this is Holdfast's van with the Camberg kit and he's going to talk about it. So tell us about your van man, how did you find this thing? Right. That's a good story. I found this van on Craigslist, pretty much as it looks like from the outside. Uh, it was in Huntington Beach for $11,000. It was already lifted, so I, the guy did all the hard work. It's already got the lift on it. This is my second van build. My first van build was also lifted five inches, but that was on the cheaper drop-down bracket, action van suspension. They make the cheapest two-wheel drive five-inch lift kit, $20.89 for the kit, and they charge $1,100 for install if you take your van to them. They also sell an Ultimate kit for $2,800. I don't have any experience with the Ultimate kit. In my opinion, I think you should save the $800 for a rear locker, bigger tires, re-gear. With bigger tires, if you drive your van, for an extended amount of time on stock size tires and then you go bigger tires you're gonna feel the power loss so I would save the 800 in fact I wish I went with an action van suspension instead of the more expensive bent I-beam kit and I would have saved more than sixteen hundred dollars going with action van for a five inch lift so I'm happy with this I think it looks cool I think it completed the look of the van. Once I got the roof rack on, I had to get some kind of, you know, front end enhancement to kind of complete the look. The five inch lifts look really good on 285s. Here's what they look like next to a stock van. This was at the last van meet. So that's a Adventure Ready Van Life's soon to be lifted van in this video. So you could, uh, get an idea how much taller the five inch lifted vans are than stock. What's going on everybody? Jason over here at Adventure Ready Van Life. We're over at Diaz Lake Campground. A little uh, ultra van meetup, March 2023. But I'm gonna have to figure out once I lift this thing, re-gear it, get it down the road and just see if I, I kind of, it grows on me. It's definitely quick. Um, more of a zippy type of motor. I'm just I think I'm just so used to um, Diesels that I'm, I'm not I'm not really I'm comparing it to everything else I have which is just just it's a completely opposite end on the, on the spectrum where it makes it power If two thousand to five thousand dollars isn't in your budget to lift your van You could lift your van two to three inches for a lot cheaper Check out carts and quads. He lifted his van three inches with the Amazon spacer kit for a f-250 and a F-350. Go to his channel for some details on how he uh, installed his lift kit. Here's his van with the three inch lift. I just painted my wheels black and these are wrapped in some 265, 265, 75, 16s. A lot of people run 265 tires with their stock height vans. Some experience rubbing, and if you lift your van two inches, there shouldn't be any rubbing. 
Here's a two inch lift kit from Ford Parts One. I believe their lift is about $350. I'll go ahead and put the price up right now. This is my friend Sergeant Thomas's van. What's up guys, y'all see it, 2012 Ford E350, two inch lift in the front, nothing in the back, sitting stock in the rear, BF Goodrich, KO2s, LT265, 70R17s on some KMC impact rims. Ever since I saw Motor Week's reviews on lifted vans, I wanted one. But sometimes even the biggest sport utes, like this Chevrolet Suburban, aren't big enough. Now, those off-roaders with special needs can then turn to a small twice as much as even Chevy's mighty Suburban, which offers a mere 150 cubic feet. The Expedition is not Ford's biggest 4x4. Check off the right option box at your local Ford dealer, and you can have one of these. The... They reviewed Quigley conversions, and Quigley conversions are expensive, so most of us who are driving two-wheel drive lifted vans we can't afford a Quigley or a sports mobile. So that's why I call this hobby budget sports mobiling because it looks like a sports mobile, but it's just a cheaper two wheel drive lifted van with our vision for an interior. If money isn't an issue and you want to do a four by four conversion, this appears to be a 12 inch lifted Timberland. It might be a 12 inch lift. This is a video from Adventure Ready Van Life. He's got some Timberline stuff on here. I think it's like a 10 or 12 inch lift. I mean, it's massive, guys. This thing, let me get back and get the whole perspective. This thing's up there, man. I'm not a big step fan, but you might have put a, one of those fold out uh, wood ladders with a rope to get your gal in and get yourself in. So, standard body. Um, like I said, 10 or 12 inch lift. The tallest Timberland 4x4 conversion will cost you almost 30 grand. I believe that's just for parts. U joint does 4x4 conversions also, 6 inch lift, and it's 15,000 for parts. So, with a two wheel drive lifted van, when you go 5 inches, like I said, 33 inch tires, you could fit 35s with a little trimming. Stock height vans, you could fit 265s. That's about a 31 and a half inch tire. Some some people have to do a little trimming or run spacers. A two to three inch lift, you could run 265s with no issues. When you lift a four by four van, you could run 35s. 35s are standard, that's like a 305 or a 315. Some people put 35 and higher, 37s, the 40s. I don't see why you can't fit 40s if you have a 10 inch lift so there you go there's the options of lifting a 40 Conaline van two to three inches if you're on a budget if you want to work a bunch of overtime like me and you're just a blue collar guy the five inch lifts get pricey two grand starting and if you're a rich 4x4 conversion all right, everyone, if you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments what's your plan or what are you rolling? What lift are you rolling? Lifted two-wheel drive or you, you got the 4x4? Four four. And subscribe. Just a bunch of lifted van fanatics hang out on this channel. We have ourselves van meets. That's how much we're into vans. Lone Pine, California. Diaz Lake. Mini bike life, van life. We're having our meet. There's my van. And here's my mini bike. 70 miles a gallon on this hog.